Welcome to the January 3rd, 2019 Conservation Commission meeting. Um, why don't we have a roll call of members present? Roger? Present. <laughs> Tom? Present. Harry? Present. Joan? Here. Matt? Yeah, present. And Jack? Present. John? <laughs> I can join them both here. <laughs> First... Um, thing under old business is, and oh, by the way, Harry, you are a full member. You are? Yes. Okay, you knew that. Okay. Just checking. And then, so Matt is a full member. Mm -hmm. Jack is an alternate, and Mary is an alternate. Michael Crotto is not here, so you can be a voting member tonight. So you could just <laughs> note that um, Jack is a full member for this meeting. Sounds good. All right. Um, so there is a conceptual plan, I was supposed to get a copy, but I, it didn't turn up, for a proposed gas station on map 22, lot 11, that would be 522 Charles Bancroft Highway. And um, you fellows weren't here, we met with Morgan Hollis, the attorney, and Renee Thoreau in December is the landowner. And um, another gentleman from an engineering company. And they went over what they wanted to do. And one of the things, the big changes from their 2012 plan was they wanted to go with above ground storage tanks. So I did look up on um, about uh, above ground storage tanks, federal requirements. Oh, thank you. And. Um, Go over those. I just wanted to get um, Renee wants to get our concerns, and then maybe in February we'll vote on this. Um, now the picture that you see up there with the ball—I well, think those are called bollards. Those things are that little teeny picture mm -hmm. with the above-ground tank. That's what we don't want to oh, look like. <laughs> um, you know, if they can hide it either in a building or somehow that it's not sticking out like that. He did, he did say that they were going to build a wall in front of it. Right. Yeah. It'd be boxed. It'd be yeah. boxed in. No, I, and I expressed my concern last, last month and I, you know, I, I really, I would rather go back to his original concept to put the underground bunker in and put the tanks inside an underground bunker. Uh, talking to other people in the, in the business, uh, that is the, the prescribed way to go. Total concrete bunker, the tank set inside a cradle, and uh, the alarm systems are completely in place. Uh, I mean, I don't know what his cost factor difference is, but to me, it just seems like a much more appropriate application. But you know. Well, Roger had mentioned that even Penetuck is looking, when they do 25,000, 35,000 gallon tanks, that they're Oh, yeah, they, they have uh, 15, 30,000 gallon uh, water storage tanks, they're steel tanks, and they're all above ground now. All the, uh, uh, the remote stations, they, they, they build a building around them, and they're all above ground. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's... The, the tanks last a lot longer. And, yeah. You know, you can, yeah. Well, these are these are in bunkers, though. They're not in the ground. They're actually inside mm -hmm. concrete yeah. bunkers. Well, well, isn't there. the bunker in the ground? Yeah, but yeah. it's a concrete it's a concrete tank, and the tanks sit inside of a cradle inside the tank. I mean, it's kind of, you know, Well, the tank wouldn't be concrete, right? The tank no, 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 no. The concrete would be steel. Steel. So, uh, fiber, no, I see the ones that, that appear to uh, BJ's. Those are all fiberglass. Those are fiberglass tanks. Yeah, yeah I thought so, all the tanks now for gasoline were fiberglass. Know, but it, they're all, well, they would probably be double lined if they were in a cradle. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, they probably be like, but you know. And so that that this the concrete storage would have enough to hold if they leaked the entire tank. Right, that was the that was the concept. Yeah, because I know that when we uh, when we had the facility at the incinerator, we took the underground tanks out, the fuel tanks out. We actually built, we actually bought a a, a metal box to put the tank inside of, basically, which is supposed to hold the content of the tank if the tank blew. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That was a long time ago. That's all long gone now. You, just don't, uh, you don't have the incinerator anymore, obviously. But. Well, I think, you know, they need to prove to us which way is the better way to go. Now, this says a bulk storage container is 55 gallon or greater and may be above ground, partially buried, bunkered, or completely buried. Bunkered takes are defined as a container 
constructed or placed in the ground by cutting the earth and recovering the container in a manner that breaks the surrounding natural grade or that lies above grade and is covered with earth, sand, gravel, asphalt, or other material. See, I was quite surprised in watching that BJ application being, being applied because I, I was just very surprised that they were actually, actually just strictly burying the tank in the ground. I just yeah. I just thought better business practices now call for it to be in a bunker like this, which I just personally don't like. And, and also the, the, idea, the idea, like I said, the total underground bunker that the tank would set inside of a cradle. Well, this, this further says a bunkered tank is considered an above ground storage container. Mm -hmm. well, that's interesting. Um, I, did, I did talk to our planner to um, get a contact in Manchester to see what they did as far as Irving Station up there. I haven't given him a call yet, but the planning and um, commercial development director I got the name to see when the Irving Station up yeah. there. What the proximity to the river and stuff in reference should be comparable well, to us. The, that's what um, Limerlack wants to know: the proximity to the river. So the, some of the things I had down as far as what we had concern of last time was the last meeting was. Well, I know one of them was the holding the holding ponds that I was concerned about. Well, that's right, that's, 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 and he, and he said that that was just a conceptual plan. That wasn't measured out to be. Yeah. He Actually, also, the whole kind of plan that they had presented. It was conceptual. It was conceptual. conceptual. It, wasn't, it wasn't a high yeah. plan. It was just coming in and talking. He about also it. said he's going to hire, um, if, if he goes with it, Hainer Swanson yeah, for engineering. Larger. Yeah. More organized, more, more, more resources, more resources, more resources. More resources. The right. other guy's a great guy. He's just yeah. a small, small operation. Yeah, small dad, basically. You know, yeah. Okay. The other folks are, you know, so the, the concerns we have are drainage, the the holding ponds, mm -hmm. the lighting, and he was willing to say that it would close at 10, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, the aquifer, of course. Now he would need a, a variance. On the aquifer district, he need a special exception on the zoning, which I think he could meet. Then he'd need a variance on the aquifer, mm -hmm. which you can look up the aquifer zone online. Mm -hmm. um, venting of the pipes. So if you had, even if you had an above ground or a bunkered, you have to get the gas from the big tank to the pumps. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I was reading in the 2012 from DES was venting of the vapors is just as bad as leaking the the mm -hmm. fuel. Mm -hmm. So venting, tell us how you're going to do that, venting to the pumps. Well, they all have the, pardon? They all have the venting capacity or capability, I should say, and they all, I mean, it's standard. They have to have vented. They have to. No, have they to vent it, but what happens to the <clears throat> fumes that come out? Yeah. I have that from the, yes. Oh, I mean, we all, the solution. The As of <laughs> right now, we all know what happens to venting from chemical plants. Here's the 2012 preventing groundwater contamination at gas stations. What municipalities and water suppliers can do? I'll, I'll um, scan this to you. Requiring double wall piping for underground portion of the venting pipes. And I did send this to um, Renee with our 2012 letter. Um, Is there also a stream nearby this there's property? Where this um, there's a stream on both sides. Yeah. So stream. Was oh, that extra streams or those just runoff streams? Yeah. No, it's um on it's uh. Where's your friend the beaver was down the other day? Leech Brook to the <coughs> south. Of, Leech Brook is to the south, and then we have that beaver impoundment, and uh, there is a bit of a stream from where the beaver started, right? But we had put the yeah. Got to get the water for something for the beavers. Huh? With the, um, yeah, because we have a culvert on, under the tracks there that right. we had to replace. That's right. But during the summer months, that's pretty dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this fall is pretty wet because of the wet fall. Oh, wet, yeah, wet, wet, wet. Wait till you hear my precipitation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so accidental tanks spillage was an issue. Then the other thing is, which he said they could overcome all this stuff. And one of these... Um, Papers it says they want to have five gallon containment if something spilled at the pump. Right. So you have all those grooves. Those grooves yeah, but the grooves have the to be. The grooves maintained. are never clean. They have to be maintained. Yeah, I mean, I don't right. care which gas they go go to. I've never seen the grooves maintained anywhere. Well, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. That, that would just be something to do somehow or other because it'd just be one of the things for the code enforcement to do. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> we'll just put that on the, the list. Then the other thing is 
if is he he's going to develop this? Is he going to sell it to somebody else? Because all these notes, whatever notes the planning board comes up with and the ZBA comes up with, have to be on the plan, right? Because then you can enforce right. it. Yeah, they right. definitely would have to be, and it's you know you know whether he whether he decides to go ahead and build it, whether he packages it and sells it as a package, you know that's not really relevant to us. Right. We're right. Just, we're just right. looking at the particular just the, project that we if we have all this agreement with. Property owner that's there now, we want to make sure this gets passed on that's to whoever. Has to be on, now, on the aquifer, everywhere. we don't tap into the aquifer at all as a right up now. there. No, we don't. No, we okay, don't. and everybody and I did. That's how I started talking to the um, horse farm to make to call them see if they are they are on wells or not on wells on they're on public water. So everybody up there now is hooked up to public water because of the PSOA. Yeah, well, horse farm too. Yes, I was concerned. That's about because of the right. improper venting from the. Well, that's, that's, well, we don't that's know. That's another that's story projected. altogether. There's, there's yeah. a lot of shenanigans with play by people. Still being played by people. <coughs> Never stop. They can. They can. Yeah. One Some of them the, have turned them off. The wells that the people have hooked up to, then they, they don't have great. to turn their well off, right? Yes. It has to be uh, removed from the house. You you can't have it coming into your you house. Use it for your but you can use it for your lawn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So um, please email me. If you think of anything else, because they, they, Mr. Thoreau said he does not want to go ahead with this if the Conservation Commission is opposed to it. Because well, he doesn't want to go through the what he did with 2012 with the ZBA. But like Morgan Hollis said, everybody up there now is on public water. Mm -hmm. So it may well, change uh, the dynamic. As I expressed at the last meeting, I mean, the man's been paying taxes on this piece of property for a long time. I think he has a right to develop it. I think if he develops it in this form, in a manner, and he follows all top due, due diligence, I think it's good use for a piece of property. Yeah. Number one, it would be a good piece of taxable piece of property. Uh, that's one thing we need solely in this town is some taxable property. Instead of residential, we're losing our butt on every house that goes up. Uh, so. Oh, and then the other thing I wanted to say, which traffic is not our concern. That's a planning board issue. Mm -hmm. But what we should be aware of, and I guess we should take it into consideration, I think we should, that... He has to get a special exception for a gas station. He is in a zone that allows multifamily housing right there. Yeah, that's just so. Mm -hmm. He could just go ahead with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After yep. he had it engineered. Yeah. So. One of the things that I had requested of them when they come back in is that they have a conceptual uh, picture of of what he yeah. plans on on yeah. building. Rendition, rendition. I mean, it, computers today you can yeah, you generate that. virtual anything. You know. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So he, he said it would be smaller than the one up in Manchester, but we need to see what it's going to yeah. look like. And he keeps telling me that, you know, he's lived here for a long time, granted. Um, he doesn't want to look at something that's not attractive either. But so. The other thing, too, that I'd like to see is I'd actually like to go on a site walk and physically have yeah. him show me where these holding ponds are. Right, right. How are they close to the streams? Right, um, right. Again, you know, like you say, a computer is wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I, I physically want to see because we're talking about the aquifer there, and if they make a mistake and that stuff leaks into the aquifer, it's dead, gone. Yeah, well, you know, we're not talking about that aspect of it. We're talking about the fact of <clears throat> the, the aquifer is far enough down. So, if it's properly well, built, well, it's well, not wait a minute. If if you had get bacteria into an aquifer from yeah. septic, it, it'll flush out eventually. Well, look at the high school. If, if you if you pollute it with petroleum products, it's it's gone for gone. quite a yeah. while. Well, for, for a period of time, but you take the high schools built on top of the best aquifer in the state of New Hampshire, not a septic systems at all. I mean, so, I mean, that's a proven fact. I mean, Jimmy Delaware used to go around town with all the aquifer maps showing they built the high school right on top of the, the biggest aquifer in the, in the state. Well, you've got the dark blue up where yeah. where they are, and then so there are the ponds the down here. The field all the time. Here's, here's yeah. the dark blue is the high transmissive aquifer. Mm -hmm. So, that's the way it goes. so really, you know, I don't like them putting us on the spot that if the Conservation Commission doesn't like it, they're not going to go with it, but he doesn't want to. Well, I can see him trying off. to take the first step first. I mean, just for his yeah. own well-being. And I mean, if we're going to come out adamantly opposed to it, I can see where he's, have a, he's figured that he's, he's beating a dead horse. But if we come out with at least a neutral stance, I mean, it's... It's, I don't think we'd be as opposed as we were in 2012 because, like his attorney says, everybody up there is on public water. Granted, we don't want to pollute the aquifer, but 
right, come out with a neutral stance and yeah. I, I think as long as as long as they follow the best business practices. I mean yeah. I mean these things are built all over the place. Up in Milford, one of the best aquifers up in the entire Milford area is where they got that big Irving station up there in one oh one. I mean uh Kevin was involved in that part, if I remember right. At least one of them up there in that area. He was very, very familiar with it. Well, mm -hmm. I think the only problem with that is everybody's sensitive because of the PF. Right, wrong, or indifferent, everybody is very sensitive about Well, not, not, you know, not only that. I mean, beforehand, Milford's had problems with that. Hudson lost their wells due to industrial development. Mm. So. And there's no good there's no good wells in Hudson anywhere. Every time they try to put one in, that's why they get all of their water from the town of Litchfield. And we right. get all of ours from Penichuk. <laughs> And the Merrimack River. That's right. So I don't want to take a vote Sorry. tonight. We don't have everyone That's here. True. And we still don't have enough information. Oh, oh, right. So we need more. Right. We need more information. He'll be back. Um, and I'll send him an email. And they'll be back. And maybe they can get, get on the February agenda. And right. Mm -hmm. Go from there. Yeah. So if you've got any specific questions that we need to ask him, I mean, like, like Harry says, if they get to the point, I mean, we, we would want to see. We would want to see the area staked off with a potential. I mean, and they don't have any idea what their potential runoff ponds are going to be at this particular point. Well, see, he, he doesn't want to even go to Hannah Swanson yet because, of course, that's going to yeah, money, be a big ticket item. Yeah, which was. But I think that they, if they know what with what what pavement, mm -hmm. what pavement, what mm -hmm. size, they could yeah. at least stake that off mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Yeah, they could do that easy enough. Any more? Any questions from this side? Not that I have. All righty, I guess. And then if you have anything else, like in the next couple few days, next week, give me an email. Um, I know he'll be back over the weekend and be looking for some input. So if you think of anything else, just shoot me an email. Most false political signs removed. <laughs> so I go up there. I see like three of them. I say, I'm going to stop and get these signs finally. There must have been 20 of them. Laying on the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's right, because that was a real hot bed for, you know, for those things all lined up. <laughs> then I got the last one on, on Hillcrest. I stopped and got that one. Oh, thank you. So I had good intent, and I've never gone never gone back out. I've had so much trouble with my legs, and I just haven't gone back out and picked up any of them. Yeah. Um, anything else with Morris Falls? Roger, you been down there lately? Well, no. Okay, on the old business, I mean, you had uh, – one world of Mills. You had that list in the last meeting. Mills. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, our attorney said, because I want the Conservation Commission to go on a site walk, and she said, you know, wait for everybody to go on a site walk in the spring. Fire, building, conservation. Okay. Yeah. Both Plenty the tires work. and. I guess on the newest plan, they said some of the top, I don't know if it was all the tires, but I briefly looked at the newest plan, and some of the tires are coming out. Okay. It is nothing that we can look at or get involved with or they had a picture of um building in a wetland you know boat and um yeah and remember there was two buildings and there was a half a boat broken and it looked like enough if it's less than two thousand square feet of wetland there's not much we couldn't do really much but i don't i don't know how big it was how big of an area all right so there's nothing right now nothing right now yeah, okay. general, general site walk for everybody yeah it's coming back to the planning board January 15th. Okay. Not for the zoning. We don't even know if there's zoning violations. So the site plan that they have in front of the planning board is coming back January 15th. And then they'll go from there. If there are violations or not. Yeah. Um, I have more plans from Eversource. They are. <laughs> they are replacing a lot of holes. That's right. Yes. That's good. They emptied out the douche arms. Uh, oh, did they? The area? Area? Yeah, that's all. That's all where, gone. Where? The, uh, West, West Road and one hundred and two. They've been staging there for three, three, four, five years. Yeah, that's that's all cleaned up. Mm. Was that ever source of New England power? Well, was that the power, New England power. New power. Right? Yeah, but well, I mean, they had all the steel, all the, stuff, all the steel poles. Yeah, oh, for the big ones. Yeah. yeah. Now, Anetico. They got the grid down. Surprised because I came out one morning and my God, the, the guy said, "You can't get through." Excuse me. Well, what they've done they is... They put big matting down. Yeah, wooden but matting. they had all kinds of trucks and stuff like that. And, and uh, um, I asked, I had to stop and ask, you know, what was going on? Because they literally had... We couldn't get through because of all the trucks and all uh, go the... Go the other way. 
<laughs> there was no other there way. There was no There's other only way. one way in. They get on a walk. Uh, and then get on a walk. But just, uh, about, just about when they must bring all that stuff in. Yeah. And I guess they're going to replace the towers. Yeah. Well, weren't you here when they came to the meeting? No. <laughs> you missed that night. I must have missed that night or something. Yeah, they were in, they were in to make a meeting. We were in the other room in the, in the closet. We all come out of the closet. Oh, yeah. The, we had like ever so yeah, squished in there. The Girl Scouts squished in there. Yeah. We, so I guess they, they're the going to replace the wooden towers yeah. with metal, metal towers. towers yeah. 25 towers, I think, on that line. And then. They're going up behind Ness and Keg, I think. I got more. Are they? Yeah. They're doing quite a bit of going right behind my house, you know, the, the right on the right on the, my property line there. That's when they want the turning radius is that where they really do a they got a big a real heavy operation on, on pine crops. Well, I know from Natticook Ave all the way down to the river, they've got all those yeah. uh, timbers. And then from there they've gone through the golf course. Yeah. Partly. I I thought they ended up at three A, but no, I think they're going up. Like behind your property. Yeah, behind my house, there's a, there's yeah. a big, there's, they've um, done quite a clearing out there. Yeah, that was a little bit of a surprise. Mm. Got to come to the meetings. You won't be surprised. Missed it. Um, okay, just want to go with the budget briefly. Um, we had a tax cap in town of not more than 175000 over last year's budget. So they took $1,000 from us, and they took $1,000 from the planning board. Because they got to stay in this tax tax cap, <clears throat> the budget committee. So they, you vote on the budget committee's budget. So the selectmen had given us fifteen hundred in land management, property management, and the budget committee took a thousand. So we have a whopping budget of thirteen ninety eight. <laughs> Good thing we spent the money this year. Yep. So that's if anybody wants that budget, I can. So we got about thirteen hundred bucks. You said thirteen ninety eight. Thirteen ninety eight is our whole budget. The whole budget. <laughs> whole budget. Wow. <laughs> the selectman gave us twenty three ninety eight, and so now we have. If the budget passes the town meeting, which I would assume it would, if, if the default budget passed, would we get last year's which budget? Is, uh, which is higher? Well, I, yeah. Uh, uh, well, the default budget can be higher because the school does that all the time. Yeah, that's that's what you call creative, creative bookkeeping. Yeah, mm -hmm. creative accounting. Yes, yeah, yeah, bookkeeping and accounting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and oh, those are, oh I, we have to t do the town report is due like the beginning of February. So I like use the same paragraph to get started. But if anybody has some great ideas for the town report, let me know. Sure. I was going to put in about the boat ramp and. Um, Get a picture of the boat ramp in there. Good sign. Oh, and uh, Jason, Brendan, and I went right before Christmas over to Continental and <clears throat> gave them a Litchfield sign with everybody signed on the signed the back of it, and a picture of the John Deere tractors, the drone picture of the boat ramp. I think it is, and. Uh, Camp Lich Haven truck frame. It was very nice. And we are getting um, the beautification committee, I guess, or Jason Brennan, more white fencing from the new fencing they put at the Morris Falls to continue it up. You talked about that when he was all, at that time, yeah. yeah. All the way to all um, the horses. horses. Mm -hmm. look, and they take out the rocks. They'll take out the rocks for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So that'll look good. And then put a gate so public service or ever source can get in down right. the other end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, January 26th, there's a um, New England Cottontail education thing in Exeter, 845 to noon, if anybody's interested. Oh, our money's coming anyhow. <laughs> now, this is to train you. Now, don't laugh. About <laughs> bunny poop, collecting bunny poop so they can find out who's, who's New England Cottontail and who's Eastern Cottontail. Sounds like a shitty story to me. <laughs> I think I want to go all the way extra for that. Oh my God. Well, that's one thing that when we teach hunter safety, yes, so we have to bring that up scat. all the time. Bring up scat? No, the, the cottontail? Not so much scat, is just. Uh, Don't shoot the bunnies? Right. Because the identification on you it. You can't is, tell unless the, the it, DNA. It's almost impossible. It's very so, difficult. So they don't want you to shoot any bunnies? Don't they have a right. Street? Do you have a registry plate on them or something? Or, you should glue tags on them so you know which kind they were. Well, I think they should, personally, I think they should wear hunter orange. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. that's right. The ones that don't want to yeah. be shot. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah. But Same with the coyotes. It's a good way, to, good way to spend federal money. I mean, what the heck? We may as well. Yeah. Might as well. Can't pay the can't pay the people. Well, the national we build parking lots for, for the trains and uh, nice, beautiful granite curbs, flowers, trees, no train. shrubs, and there's no cranes coming to Nashville in the next hundred years. Yeah. It's it's also money. Federal money. Mm. Federal money. Same as the bunny rabbits. Federal money. It's free. Yeah, let's spend it. Mm. Um, Friday, January 25th. Money comes out of this wallet. Is it? Yeah, it's free. It's out of your wallet. <laughs> no matter what agency, it still comes out of this wallet. <laughs> January 25th is New Hampshire Association of Natural Resource Scientists annual conference, 8 to 4. It's a Friday. If anybody wants to go, let me know. It's pretty expensive, but I'm thinking of going. It's good information on um, the new wetland assessments and wetland laws changing in New Hampshire. Well, the Army Corps, uh, updates on the Army Corps New, New England wetland method, assessment method. So that's that. Um, what do we have for water rainfall? Well, for the month of December, uh, we had a total of uh, 3.61 inches of liquid precipitation. We only had 0.25 inches of snow. That's all I recorded for the whole month. Wow. <laughs> but I was I, I totaled everything up for the year. Yeah, what do you got? And, and uh, total liquid precipitation uh, for, la for last year was 93.52 inches. 93. And, and the average, I Googled it, yeah. and the average for Litchfield is 46 inches. Really? So double? Yeah. Plus. Well, on the, on the hmm. TV, this is the fifth wettest. 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 Yeah. yeah. And it's they true. only show 53 points. Yeah. Yeah. And snowfall for last year. For, for the last year was uh, eighty six point five inches, and, and it, for, for for the calendar year, yep. and for the whole for the average is fifty eight point five inches. Wow, for which field? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so you said an average? Oh, was forty six inches on rain, but we had ninety three inches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ninety one inches. Wow. Ninety three point five two. For for total liquid precipitation, that is, oh, you, totally you take liquid. the snow, no, no. you take the snow, and you have to melt it mm -hmm. to find out how much how much liquid water is in it, mm -hmm. and that's how you record it. But the snowfall, the average average snowfall is fifty eight point five, and we had eighty six point five is is what I recorded. Yeah. So, but you know, it's funny how how much it varies. You know, mm -hmm. in, in the in the town, well, we we've, we've argued that. We the conservation would argue that because the the, the airport and that's just the airport of Penetrap is officially called Penetrap, the water treatment plant, which is about yeah. two miles as a crow flies. As a crow flies. Yeah. That's the official recording place. And I mean the variation is, is drastic. I mean, just yeah. in that distance a couple of miles as a crow flies. Because I, I don't know if that's still true, but I mean in reference to how much water they can draw out draw out of the wells in, in Litchfield had to depend on how much rainfall it was according to the state. Yeah, we've always said that, but I don't think they they do it. They had a cap number on it. Wow! Wow! Yeah, Dane Dushan used to do seven hundred and fifty thousand a day. Seven hundred fifty thousand a day. Yeah. Um, I did kind of scratched up December's minutes. Did did, did you have November minutes? Um, I did. I believe I sent them. <laughs> you did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're out in the universe. Yeah. <laughs> Here's December. I just. Um, <laughs> They're in the cloud. <laughs> kind of just like Mary any days going to rain. Agenda type thing. <laughs> yeah. We take a look at those. Yeah. And tell me if you would like to approve December. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of rough. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I see where you got the the site walk. Oh, for the nails. Yeah. Yeah, I had one. No, but then the attorney said, "No, wait, wait till spring." Tree review for property owners. That that was to mention. You were here for that one. Were you here in December? Yes. Yeah, just that people call on these plans and say you have to have approval from the conservation commission. So I go out and look at them, and most 
always say, sure, go ahead. They're dead, you can knock the building over or whatever. Madam Secretary, I move that we, or Madam Chairman, I move that we accept the um, minutes. I'll second that. Um, seconds. All those in favor of December 6th minutes? Any, any discussion on the December 6th minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor of December 6th minutes tonight? Aye. 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 I'll be abstaining. Abstain too. Two abstentions and one, two, three, four. Four approved. Okay, thanks. Number six minutes approved today. One, three. Yeah. Okay, who has, uh, you had some other things, Matt? Yeah, so um, I got the DR ball route. That was up and running. Um, so I tried to register the trailer, and that was <laughs> an immense <laughs> debacle. <laughs> I went to the DMV for two hours for nothing, I guess, and for some reason that all got screwed up, but... The trailer um, does need some work because the wires for the tail lights are disconnected, so they don't work whatsoever. Um, so I'll need to go fix that. And uh, but I did get the DR mower out there with uh, my own trailer to uh, Birch Street. Um, and there's a, a lot of a lot of water in the existing trails, which have kind of been um, dug in with uh, ATVs. So the, there's a lot of really thick, deep ice. So if you're going out there, it's kind of treacherous on some of the trails because it looks basically like a frozen stream. So I got it out there, and I was trying to instead like kind of clear out another trail instead and kind of allow that one that's kind of become part of the wetlands to just kind of be reclaimed. I guess. So that piece that when you first go left, I mean, when mm -hmm. you go in and go left? Yep. Mm -hmm. So there's that new trail to the right instead because that trail going straight ahead that just leads to private property and that's where the, the water's minute. really deep when you go in when you okay here's let me get a piece of paper here's birch street come mm -hmm. down to the cul-de-sac so if we had a drone we could just fly from here that's true let me put that in the budget yeah, okay we shall then just the trail goes in like that yep. the end of the year, and then as soon as you go left there's water right here <laughs> yep and then when you go this way, you can go a little way. Right? There's some pretty decent oh. tree sized trees here. Mm -hmm. And then there's like puddles. Are you saying now would you do make a new trail? Yeah, to so the right? yeah, to the left here yeah. where all that water is, that's yeah. all, all the way down the trail. You are all the way down the trail, <laughs> right. essentially to where it gets to the private property. So I was thinking this, this should, to the left? Yes. Here? Yeah, okay. right there. So I was so I was thinking that should not be a trail, that should instead be reclaimed and yeah, right but but when it dries out <laughs> then you're gonna have a trail there and a trail around it what do you get i was i was instead thinking that we close that it's off and just let it be reclaimed trail like that. and it's where like, are you gonna put the new trail the, the new trail the runs parallel and, and that's gonna allow further it. in and then parallel yep that's what it does but then it also heads further northeast out of that's it so it okay. avoids the wetland so that's why i'm thinking it's a better route because this is all worn in from atv so i was thinking wait for it to dry a little bit because Almost all, all year round, it's pretty, pretty. Somehow we have, we'll have to block that off, though. Yeah, I can do that. I, I was taking some. I had that little fence I made out there with yeah. um kind of some of the scrap wood. There's still some scrap wood out there, and I could just okay. put it out there and say this is okay. this is not a trail. Um, hmm. So the DR mower works great. It does need some work though. It um I did drain the fuel out of it so that it's not sitting, and uh, I also did some work on a, a town parcel that um, is next to the state forest that had some interesting stuff in there. Open well, the you got park. down to Aldrich? Yeah, that's down on Aldrich. And there's some really interesting stuff out there. Some old building foundations yeah, on the trails the, out um, there. I forget the name of the farm. And, um, um, Kevin had told me what the name of the farm was out there. I'm glad that's running. And uh, another thing is that um, somebody sent us a message on the Facebook page thanking us for all our work in town and they sent us a nice picture of a stream in Morse Falls and they said they're a member of a neighboring conservation commission. I can send you over the message, but it was mm. very nice. Mm. Very nice. Anything else? That's it. Uh, okay, did the minutes, we have to find you to November minutes. Um, did the rainfall report. Next meeting is February 7th. Um, anybody got anything else? We got do we get to go non-public again on this? Is it? No, we did that at the top. Okay. So, we're good. I think that's all I had. I'll do George. I'll say, Madam Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn. Okay.
I'll second. I'm thinking of Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. Okay. She's Nancy Pelosi's cousin. <laughs> Dave from 752 adjourning. Aye. 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 All right. We are adjourned. Hit it, Matt. <laughs>